Hello everyone, this is ACH, AIA, Akaya, and we are in game number three of the show match series between Madfrog and TLO. And this map we're going to be seeing this next game played on is Zelnaga Caverns, one of the maps that was added to the map pool with the release of StarCraft II uh, for, you know, the official production release. But uh, anyways, this is a 1v1 map, so both players are going to be 100% aware of where the other one is. And of course, TLO playing as the Yellow Terran in the lower left here. Upper right, we do have Madfrog playing as the Blue Zerg, who proved himself a little bit in that last game against TLO, holding his own and managing to uh, tie the series at 1-1. One one. So we are moving on to game number 3 right now to see who can take the advantage back into their favor. Anyways, Mad Frog seems like he is a um, very economic-minded player. He did have an awful lot of expansions at the end of the game. Last game, we saw a very long macro game. Um, and once again, this map being a little bit smaller and being built only for two people, perhaps we'll see a shorter uh, game here, despite the fact that there are a lot of expansions. TLO apparently not going to try to wall off. He did put his initial supply depot down right next to his uh, right next to his command center, and it looks like he is going to put his barracks out by the entrance. And actually, uh, now that I notice this, uh, he he typically likes to wall off with the barracks and the factory. And that supply depot, it doesn't look like is needed on this particular ramp. So he may just be walling off with the uh, barracks and the factory this time, not even getting the supply depot in the mix. And of course, a scouting SCV going out right now to take a look at his opponent and exactly what he's got going on and the he crosses the path of the drone on his way to uh, the Zerg players base there and looks like the drone is going to get up into the Terran players base do a little bit of scouting and one SCV from TLO already in play here preventing that drone from harassing the SCV that's trying to build that barracks too much uh, and already actually getting a refinery up here as well so we are definitely going to see an early factory I'm guessing uh, in order to finish this wall off here rather soon but uh, anyways, that drone just trying to keep it alive here for Mad Frog right now, getting as much intel as he can. Meanwhile, uh, looks like TLO has managed to work his way into Mad Frog's base, doing a little scouting himself. And the first extractor going down for Mad Frog, and it looks like his spawning pool is about 75% done. And wow, right off the bat, Mad Frog trying to switch things up a little bit, going for a hidden expansion at the uh, 9 o'clock position here, it looks like, trying to get some early resources without his opponent being aware of it. Although there's an SCV moving around here. I'm not sure if he's actually going to find this. That would be absolutely in oh my goodness the TLO spider sense is tingling how in the world did he find this I'm not sure but props to TLO for feeling like something was a little bit off and doing some scouting because this hidden expansion that Mad Frog was trying to get up and running is no longer hidden of course and it looks like this scouting drone for Mad Frog is going to be taken out and I'm not sure why Mad Frog hasn't canceled this yet um, of course he would lose the building time that would delay his hatchery a little bit if, if he was a opposed to trying to get it up in his natural. But at the same time, this is going to be really difficult to defend because it's so far away from his main. You can see on the mini-map just exactly how far away those bases are from each other. So uh, TLO definitely going to uh, have a little bit easier time taking that expansion on. But as you can see here, there is the wall off with the factory. And it looks like he did need that supply depot just barely to, to wall off that bottom. But as you can see, a very, very small path of entry there. So any Zerglings trying to sneak in there or even Banelings trying to get a Baneling bust are going to have a hard time getting to that supply depot and TLO is immediately responding to this fast expansion by sending out a handful of units here going to try to harass and uh, it looks like there's one drone coming out right now but of course that drone not going to last very long against the Hellion. Hellions do a ton of damage to those light units and with the uh, Marines moving out here as well this is looking pretty bad for Mad Frog already. And I don't see any units on the way from his base yet to defend that. So it looks like he is going to lose that hatchery very, very early in the game, which is unfortunate for him. And another Hellion coming out right now. So already a decent-sized force for Liquid TLO trying to get that early expansion up too. It looks like putting down a command center inside his base, and it looks like he is going to uh, lift that off and move it over to his natural here. But uh, there is another factory going down as well, so possibly going to switch into a more mech-heavy build. Once again, last game we saw he was very, very heavy on Thors and Siege tanks, uh, as well as having some Marauders to back up that very heavy mech force. Oh, and it looks like one of those Hellions actually getting trapped by those Broodlings, unfortunately. Those Broodlings can actually be quite deadly to some of those early light units if you get your units caught out of position. And it looks like one, one lone Zergling here was caught out of position as well at that Zalnaga Watchtower, going to lose that Zergling straight away. And uh, Mad Frog actually playing extremely defensively now, throwing down three spine crawlers at the front entrance of his base here, and actually trying to get up a Spire as well. So trying to go one 
turn-based meter right now, which is uh, could possibly be very, very difficult to pull off here. Um, we do see that there is a tech lab going down on both of the factories and an armory, so there will be Thor tech available to TLO here very, very shortly, which of course is the most effective counter to those mass mutalisks. So we'll see if Madfrog can manage to get enough mutalisks out to do some damage here early on, or if he can manage to get those mutalisks on his base, and there's the first Thor building right now. And on the production menu, we can see there are five mutalisks building, but there's also two turrets going down for TLO, so um, I don't know if he scanned that or what. I'm actually going to take a look at his vision in t uh, his base. Yeah, it looks like he actually did somehow get a scan on that, because he can see that spire just as it was going down. So he is going to be ready for this early mutalisk tech. Um, so great sense by TLO once again, getting a scan in at the right time and finding out exactly what tech his opponent is going for. And uh, he is not going to be caught off guard by this one bit. It looks like Mad Frog is now trying to move out and get his natural expansion. But at this point, it's pretty late. TLO already has his expansion up and running and he's starting to put down some air defense, which um, that many turrets is going to be plenty to hold off these first six mutalists. Um, unless he can manage to kill all these SCVs before they can get any of them finished. And it looks like he is going to have to back up. Although that one mule, there we go, he did manage to get it. That mule had one hit point left after that first mulesk volley. And it looks like here comes the first Thor, and along with that turret and those marines, he is not going to be able to do any more harassment at this expansion. That Thor just pounding away on those mutalists a little bit, and the mutalists trying to move in here to the main, do a little harassment, but another Thor pops out just as that's happening, as well as the two turrets that are on the back of the mineral line. So these mutilists have been re uh, basically rendered null and void. They they were a big waste of minerals, as it seems right now. So he is definitely going to have to switch into some kind of a Roach Hydra tech, possibly. Uh, we do see he has a Roach Warren going down right now, and a ton of drones coming out, trying to drone up so that he can transfer as many as possible to this expansion as soon as it gets up and running, because he definitely needs to play a little bit of catch-up. And those Roaches are going to be absolutely crucial for him to be able to take on this massive Thor army, which there's already two on the map. Another one building right now, and it looks like there is a third factory going down. And uh, actually, TLO scouting out in the Zerg base from Mad Frog once again using his barracks as a scout, which, as I mentioned, uh, the barracks can be a very, very good scout for only 150 minerals. It can do a lot of traveling over the Zerg player's base, give you a lot more vision than one scan, and you can use the 50 energy from that one scan in order to actually get a, a mule, which is worth 300 minerals. So definitely an economically sound investment there. Uh, but anyways, looking at TLO's expansion here, he does already have a decent amount of miners here. A little bit light on SCVs on the mineral line, but he does have some mules in the mix here trying to make up for that lack of SCVs. And these mutalists are going to continue to move across the map, trying to do a little bit of harassment wherever they can. But there is just absolutely no room for them to move in. Oh my goodness. And those Thors just absolutely dominating those mutalisks. And uh, right now, Mad Frog is in scramble mode. He's going to have to get out a lot of roaches in a very short period of time if he wants to be able to stop this Terran army by the time they make it to his base. And these mutalists are going to try to play a little bit of interference here, but uh, they are not going to be able to slow down this Terran army by very much because those Thors are just so powerful against the mutalists. And that mutalist trying to pick off even a Hellion at the front, just getting a little bit too far ahead there, if he can, just because he knows he needs every small advantage he can get right now and actually throwing down a few uh, spine crawlers in just preparation for trying to hold off this Terran army. And it looks like he is going to try to hold off the uh, Thors for as long as he can with these roaches until these spine crawlers can get up and running and he can actually get a few more of these roaches in play here. But uh, it looks like Mad Frog already in big, big trouble here. He did lose his expansion. That's his second hatchery to go down without him able to really get any significant mining in on an expansion. The last one, he didn't get any mining in at all. And here come the roaches trying to take out these Thors. They managed to focus fire one down, but the other, it manages, he managed to pull the second one back. And the third one is in full health pretty much, still losing very little HP. And these drones are still going to continue to mine long distance, it looks like, and trying to get a few more roaches out from the remaining larva at that expansion. Oh, and two more Thors coming up in the play. I think this is just going to be too much for Mad Frog to deal with. He just invested too much money in those mutilists, and TLO was 100% ready for him when that happened. Here come his last push. If he is not able to do anything with this particular push right here, I think it's going to be GG because TLO at this point is just so far ahead 
And uh, yeah, that is just going to be all she wrote. There are still two Thors in very good health here, holding off, and Mad Frog is going to GG. So game number three going to TLO, just showing how well he is able to scout using his SCV and just had the great sense to know that uh, Mad Frog should have had more in his base, and he didn't have an expansion at the natural, and he found the hidden expansion at the 9 o'clock position, which allowed him to take that out super early. And then, of course, also getting a great scan on, seeing the Spire before it was even halfway built, which allowed him to prepare those Thors in order to take down that Mutalisk Assault very, very quickly. So anyways, we're going to move on to game four now in the series with uh, TLO being up two to one in the winnings. So uh, anyways, GG, thanks for watching, guys.